Hi, welcome to AnimeCons TV. I am here this week with Ricky Lacody. Hey. Uh, you may know her from Heroes of Cosplay, mm -hmm. but she's been on the convention circuit for quite a while yeah, now. Yeah, we've been friends for like 10, yeah. over 10 years. Yeah, I think we first met in person at Otakon 2001. Ooh. Blasty from the past. <laughs> yeah, well, because we were all in the <laughs> and, and DVD. DVD. Yeah, yeah, and so Chris Beveridge and all his yeah. uh, followers. That was crazy. Like that's like yeah. where I spent all my time on those forums. Yeah, and I didn't even own a DVD. I was like, this and, place and is fun. Everyone's cool. I don't own a DVD. <laughs> <laughs> and the IRC chat room. Oh and, my gosh! Yeah. Yeah, I actually popped into it uh, people, last week. Is IRC week, still a thing? They were still. Uh, half a dozen familiar names. Really? Like, really? This is still here. Dark Song and... Oh my uh, gosh. Uh, I'm going to forget. Uh, yeah, but there were, you, you look in there, it's like, what? I forgot about these people. Yeah, and, I mean, I saw some of them, like, I, it was funny, I was playing like World of Warcraft, and I think I ran into Dark Song. <laughs> Uh, like Megazone and... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's, was it Raycoon? And yeah. gosh, there's so many of them. Yeah. It was it was fun. Like, I still like you know I still follow you guys like you and Liz and Chris and everybody on face Facebook. But it's so weird how like every everyone's lives yeah. just have changed. Oh, and, yeah. But I totally I, like it's funny everyone's like selling their DVDs. I saw Liz was selling hers. I'm like Escaflone. She's yeah. got to have it. Well, I, I was putting mine up on uh, Amazon just to clear out some room. Yeah. And stuff I haven't watched in ten years. Yeah. And uh, I put up Sailor Moon. Oh. Still shrink wrapped. The ADV release. Yeah. And then the announcement came out on Friday, and I'm like, well, I'm not going to be able to sell those for the price I was asking Yeah, because that and box set was out of print, wasn't it? It was like a yeah, $200 was of, box set? Yeah, it was out of print, and it was selling n new for like $300. And I was like, yes, I, give me the $300. Yeah. And uh, my girlfriend's like, oh, but you're selling Sailor Moon. And then this comes out, and it's like, well, here, you can have Sailor Moon. <laughs> But now I can't sell these anymore because yeah. the audio was bad. You should, oh man, you should have just put it up and been like, I'm sure somebody would buy it. Oh, it's it. still up. Maybe somebody that hasn't heard the announcement yeah. that lives in some Don't tell off. anybody. Yeah, go on Amazon. You can find my... Yeah. It's still true crap. <laughs> the original, I just never got around to... Anyway. Dude, well, I need somebody I, that... I've seen the original series, yeah. so I just never... I need people who would like re-shrink wrap stuff. Yeah, that's and then but well, I guess they they tried to do that and then they would damage their DVDs and I was like, well, that's just dumb. <laughs> Yeah. So what was the first convention you ever went to? Uh, I think AX99. Okay, that's er earlier than mine. Mine was AX2000. Yeah. So Maybe it was It was the one that had Yoko, Con. Yoko Kano. But at the time, I didn't know it was Yoko Kano. It might have been 99. Have been, I was there like, in 2000 and Yoko had like Kano Faye, was I remember I had like Faye Valentine on the badge, and I was like <gasps> dressed as Lena Inverse, but I, I didn't know the glory of wigs, so I tried to bleach <laughs> my hair and then dye it red, and I was like... That just completely turned me off of like just using my real hair ever. <laughs> and it was in Anaheim and yeah, I just remember a giant pen pen, like a Neon Genesis group that did like this, oh gosh, they did like a spy who shagged me, but it was Neon Genesis. Wow. It, it, yeah. Austin Power, that was relevant back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh. then we did like, we, uh, at the time, my boyfriend and I, we went down and we hadn't planned to join like a skit thing and we met up with some other people and we're like, oh, let's just, let's just go make up a skit like in like the next <laughs> three hours. And then we did like a Jerry Springer thing because there was like another Lena Inverse and it's like, who's the real Lena, Lena Inverse? <laughs> and I looked at it recently and I was like, oh, I never want to watch this again. <laughs> you have footage of that? Uh, I think it's on like ACP Paradise oh, or wow. something like that. Like it is, it is old. Like I'm like. I was like, what was I thinking? <laughs> but I, I guess it was my first con. I'm like, I must experience everything. So. And so if that's your first con, that was your first time in a masquerade. Yeah, it was. Like, I mean, I had dressed up like two years beforehand. And I always say, like, I thought it was like being super innovative because I was like, I'm going to dress up as an anime character for Halloween. And I realized <laughs> I'm not the special snowflake I thought I was. So, but no, yeah, AX99. But then, because I lived in Canada, I would only go to like one convention a year, which would usually be Otakon with you guys. Yeah. And then Anime Boston. My sweet Anime Boston. Yeah. Well, you were on staff with Anime yeah. Boston for a couple uh, the of years. Art, the yeah. art auction, I loved it. The, yeah. The power. <laughs> the power of the art auction. <laughs> <laughs> I reign supreme in that one corner of the dealer's room. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that was a lot of fun. Like I really liked, you guys did a really good job on that con because you guys were really, I, you guys got like Japanese guests. Like mm. meeting um, Daisuke 
from oh I remember that Chrono Crusade I was like that was like well, I ha yeah oh. we had uh, Daisuke Moriyama yeah and uh, you had the um, oh what was the name of her um, Rosette Rosette costume yeah and Greg Ayers had Chrono yeah and so we're like okay if we can get you guys in costume when we bring him out on stage and it was it was so awesome and then he ended up doing me this like drawing and his like his um I guess manager or whatever who spoke a little bit of English is like, oh, he says you are Rosette, and I'm like, ah, I was like my little like fangirl, and I still have it, and I've since remade the costume, but it, I keep the old one. It's so sentimental, and just that was like yeah. a, that was such an awesome experience to have like the actual creator say, we really like what you're doing, kid. <laughs> so no, that was Anime Boston gave me a lot of good feels. Though I did have my worst costume mishap there. I don't know if I told you about that. No. The latex bursting. No. Oh, what? so remember when I wore Battle Angel Lita? I don't, I don't know if you remember, but one year I wore Battle Angel Lita, mm -hmm. and it was like really hot, and I was doing these crazy poses, and you know, latex, you, well, with latex sheeting, you have to glue it together, and I was, and I thought you didn't wear underwear underneath it because of the seam lines, and so I was doing all these like crazy like crouch down poses, and all of a sudden I feel this like draft on my crotch. <laughs> Luckily, I had my hands in front of me, and but all these guys were taking my photo, and I stand up, and I make these like awkward jokes about how there's like, luckily there's grass on the playing field, ha 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 ha, you know? <laughs> and, and then I asked one of the guys to borrow his, um, his hoodie, and I wrap it like around my waist, and I'm trying to like hide back the tears, and I was like, oh, there's like eight guys, and they probably got a picture, and it's gonna go on the net, <laughs> And then, but luckily all the guys like showed me their camera, and there was nothing and they're like if there's anything we'll just delete the photos if you're more comfortable with that and they walk me back to the art art gallery and I changed and I never wore latex again for a couple of years <laughs> and I always wear like four pairs of underwear now <laughs> so yeah that I always talk about that's people say like what's your worst mishap in costume I'm like oh well it was at yeah. anime Boston so, uh. but no it was and I met Bread Papas, the greatness of Bread. Was it Beard Papas? Beard Be Papas. Beard Papa. That was my first Beard Papas, was at Anime Boston. So. Is, wait, there's a Beard Papa in Boston? I didn't even Yeah, know. it's down, um, oh my gosh, I don't know the area, but it's, it's like a, I think it's like on the shore. It's like all cobblestone-y. There's all oh. these like restaurants. It's like a walking, it looks touristy almost. It was like farmer's market style. Oh, that's uh, probably... Faneuil Hall. Yeah, it's, Figures it, I find this out after I move out of Boston. <laughs> well, I think there's a bunch in California. Yeah. That's, there's one in San yeah. Francisco. Yeah, that's right. I haven't seen it since I moved here, but uh, I know it's there. Yeah. yeah. I just forget it's Man, there. Man, I just, I'll, yeah, I'll just like run into one and be like, whoa, like I was in Japan. I'm like, I want to go. So I love that place. Atlanta doesn't have it. But. Now, do, do you think there's any particular point or maybe with any costume where you've kind of evolved where you felt you went this really put you at the next level um i would probably have to say like when um chris and i met because he had the sculpting experience mm -hmm. and he sort of like batman begins was just coming out and i was like man i love the way they're like translating these outfits they're looking more real and i was sort of doing more comic book stuff at that time so i would probably have to say like there's like three costumes I was doing at once. It was like the Huntress, uh, and I think I did Wonder Woman Amazonia kind of at the same time. And that's sort of like where I was like, wow, I like this, like creating an outfit. I understand I'm in this right now though. <laughs> um, creating an outfit that looks like it could exist in the real world. So mm. I think from that's, I think that's what I'm kind of known for. I try to use different fabrics other than spandex, you know, a lot, some sculpted pieces, really think about kind of everything that, why is that seam there? Why is that zipper there? Or why would there be a pouches there? Or, or things like that. So I've probably, yeah, I think it was like 2006. Yeah, I think 2006, I sort of like switched over and started doing more stuff like that. The rush you get when you walk out on the stage and everyone is cheering for you, there's nothing like it. In all new episodes, we're in Argentina! See the hottest cosplay stars imagine and design extraordinary costumes. For my competition, I just need to blow it out of the water. They play hard. I feel a draft. But work harder. Good isn't good enough. Only one thing keeps them going to the very end. Their passion. Feels so good. Heroes of Cosplay is back. All new episodes premiering Tuesday, May 27th at 9, only on Sci-Fi. So with Heroes of Cosplay, mm -hmm. how did you get involved with that? Uh, basically, the way it started was, uh, I guess, it was almost like three years ago for me. It might have even been 
four. Yeah. yeah, it's been a long process for a couple of us. Like originally it was, a, I guess, a production company contacted Yaya and they're like, hey, what you do is really interesting. We'd like to um, film it. And it was originally going to be called Yaya's World. And um, they, at the time, I was doing a charity calendar called Cosplay for a Cause to raise money for the Japanese Red Cross. And she was involved in it, so I'd gone over and was like talking to her about it. And I guess when they showed the sizzle to to uh, the networks, they are like, oh, you know, what she does is really interesting, but I think we need more characters, like more full-time characters. And they're like, oh, we like that Ricky girl. So they asked me to be on, and then they asked uh, Victoria, mm -hmm. and then Monica at the time, I think, was working for Yaya, and then uh, Becky as well was brought on. So we were sort of the original, the original people. And um, yeah, I guess uh, they liked the fact that I was like, really, I think they liked like, okay, you know, Focusing on craftsmanship, taking my time, and, and things like that. Or, I don't know, maybe they liked my charming smile. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I thought it was funny. I saw somebody criticize the show saying, <laughs> oh, well, these aren't the real heroes of cosplay. And then they had a picture to uh, cosplay for a cause. Oh, it's really? Like, Do you not realize? <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah, I think I remember seeing something like that. And, uh, like, the biggest thing is, like, like <laughs> it's funny, because originally, so it was called Yaya's World. And then they picked a name, and we were like, no, they were going to call us the Divas of Dress Up. And we're like, yeah, eh. no, 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 no. But then we were going to be called Cause World. And we tried to tell them, well, that's a porn title. <laughs> Good luck with that. And just in a rush, they got called the Heroes of Cosplay. Now, the reason, like, people are like, well, they're not firefighters, not policemen. It's heroes in the same sense that Keith Richards is a rock hero, yeah. guitar hero. L like an idol sort of hero. Yeah, or like, that. you know, we're really, like, hero and since we're, we're trying to like push the boundaries or mm -hmm. do something different or even in the sense that we dress up as superheroes yeah you know like when someone says well i'm dressing up as a superhero well you're not a superhero but you know like it's just a it's just the name of something and we couldn't come up with something clever so if you have a clever idea you should just email <laughs> sci-fi and be like hey here's my idea i mean my biggest thing is like how does that abbreviate like it sounds like a, a cat throwing up Hawk. <laughs> you know i was like yeah so, but um, yeah, it was, yeah, the, the charity thing, like, why isn't there more charity stuff? And I was like, dude, if you go to my page, yeah, you will see, funny. like, I've done stuff for Japanese Red Cross, USO, Aurora, Philippines Red Cross. I mean, we're just doing a project now for, I'm making a calendar with 17, 17 cosplayers? 18 cosplayers for uh, Wildlife Conservation Society. Oh. So it's like, everyone is a superhero and they have an animal in the shot oh. and and it's going to be a 2015 2016 calendar and like we even got like uh we have these little art pieces in the corner and one of the artists in the calendar is the guy who did the character designs for x-men evolution oh, wow yeah so and he's at actually big wow today so it was and everyone's donating time 100 percent of the proceeds go to the wildlife conservation society so i'm like I'm like super excited, but the show focuses on competitions. Yeah. You have nine people over the course of six episodes. That's something like 18 minutes each, not including establishing shots yeah. and all that other stuff. So you're really only getting like 15 minutes of people. Yeah, and they edit it to make it seem exciting, exciting, or what they more think drama. They, yeah. And, yeah. So that. So the best thing to do, like I, I mean, I watch reality shows. I oh, love yeah. them. Well, now it's kind of ruined for me, to be honest. But <laughs> I was like, I know there's somebody on the side saying, like, talk about how much that thing is important to you before you pawn it off. <laughs> but um, it, the thing is with the show is you, you look at the people and you look at what they're doing and you can go check out who they really are on Facebook or their Twitter yeah. or, you know, look back the years they've been online. And that's probably a better gauge of who they are than online like some my one friend uh, Victoria says that kids have like a better concept of the show in the sense that they understand like they come up and they're like we really like the character that you play you know on on the show and it's it's one it's one aspect of yourself I feel mm -hmm. like they can only they can't show all the facets of yourself so you know like I think on the show they promoted me as like pretty quiet and like serious uh -huh. and and people come up to me and they're like, wow, you're a lot more like talkative and you know, you don't take yourself as seriously as they seem to make you. And I said, well, I take like the crafting seriously, but I don't take myself seriously. I'm dressing up like a cartoon character. Yeah. I mean, come on. So I don't know. Did you watch the show? Yeah, or, oh. I, I saw all of it. Yeah. I plan to watch it oh, when it comes good. back. But 
because I can relate to a lot of the stuff, yeah. like working in the hotel room, trying to get, <laughs> I mean, this <laughs> this over here. I love that. This, this was finished in a hotel room at Dragon Con. It's so weird because people are, people are like, oh, that doesn't happen. People don't finish stuff no, no, in the no, hotel room. All the time. Yeah, I'm like, obviously, one, you're either not a cosplayer or um, you don't know a cosplayer because like everybody, everybody finishes something or something breaks. Oh yeah. Or you're like, ah, it's not like you just like. Yeah, quick, fix it with duct tape. Yeah, <laughs> or like hot <laughs> glue, glue or crazy glue, yeah. glue or, yeah. So it's, um, you know, it's, it, it, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just one aspect. It's just the competing aspect. And some people like that, like back 10 years ago, that was the only thing to kind of do at cons was comp we competed together. Yeah, Anime Expo yeah. 2004. Yeah, we did that. Uh, Dot was, hack. Yeah, but it was like, I attack the darkness. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know. Where's the Mountain Dew? Yeah, and well, we were miserable behind stage. Oh, I mean, yeah. it was like fun to just be with you guys. And that's. You were freezing and Liz was, was sweating. so hot. <laughs> so you just got together. To I was like, hold me. Hold me, Grunty, hold me. You attack the darkness. There's an elf in front of you. That's me, right? Okay, you guys can talk to each other now if you want. Hello. Hello. I am Galstaff, Sorcerer of Light. But how come you have a cat magic missile? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 guys are being, you guys are being attacked. No, you're outside by the tavern. There are seven ogres surrounding you. Uh, now, Heroes of Cosplay mm -hmm. comes back on May 27th. Yes. At 9 p.m.? I think so. Check your local <laughs> listings. I'm not in the first episode, yeah. so, well, make sure you check it out, but I am in the second episode. I'm in three okay. episodes again. Anything we should watch for? Um, anything you, well, you haven't seen the final edit, but no. you hope it's in there? Oh, my gosh. No, I just, like, yeah. for me, um, when I go in with filming, I'm like, no matter what, um, I just, I want to create a costume that I'm proud of and I, you know, because that's important to me is a well-crafted costume. So that's, I'm just, I'm really proud of the costumes I made this season. I'm proud of the ones I made last season, but I was like, I did like some new techniques I've never done. And, you know, also while I'm filming, I mean, a, a lot of the comments are like, these are, you know, we need the average cosplayer. And like a lot of us work, like yeah. during the first season I was working um, two jobs at the same time as filming and raising baby squirrels. <laughs> and it's a very tight filming schedule. And that's why like in the last episode, I think I just was exhausted and just worn out. Mm. And that's how I got sick. But um, you know, a lot of us work either full-time jobs or you know, cosplaying is still our hobby. So yeah. um, the, the amount of time I had and the costumes I produced, I'm like pretty, pretty proud of them. So I hope, I hope people like them and they're really cool. They're all video game costumes. Oh, so. okay. You know, it's uh, it's pretty exciting, but yeah, I don't I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of like if anything crazy happened. There was this one time. Oh, I can't. Well, no, I guess she's been announced. So there, my cast member Katie George. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why this was so funny. We were walking out of the hotel room, or out of the ho out of the hotel. This is actually not even worth telling. <laughs> <laughs> and she like grabs my butt for some random reason, and I was like. I, I think it was just that moment of like, you have all this tenseness. You're mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm filming. And you know, the co is the costume done? I still have to get the costume done or I have to do this, but you know, and then she just kind of like <laughs> grabbed my butt and I just, it was like a release or something. I don't know, but no, I actually, uh, I can't, I mean, though we did have s'mores. That was pretty fun. Yeah. So no, there's nothing outstanding. Okay. You can edit that whole part. Nah, I'll leave it in. Oh God. <laughs> uh, now, where can people find you online? What's the best way? To uh, the best place to find me is uh, I on my Facebook. It's Riddles Messy Wardrobe. That is not my name. That is the place where I reside. Because <laughs> when I go to South American cons, they're always like blah blah blah, Riddle Messy, and I'm like, great. So I'm Mrs. Messy. Uh -huh. Awesome. <laughs> So they think that's my name, but <laughs> uh, on Twitter it's Riddle R I D D, but the uh, one E, so the L is a one, and then the same on Instagram. So yeah, you can pretty much just look up Riddle Cosplay or, you know, Ricky Lacody. Now that my secret is yeah. out because of the show, um, you can. <laughs> and find there's it. Cosplay for a Cause too. Yeah, Cosplay for a Cause is uh, we have a Facebook page, Cosplay for a Cause, uh, Twitter Cosplay, and then the four is a number, mm -hmm. Cause. And uh, I think that is, and our website, www.cosplayforcause. We're pretty much finished up with the 
developing the new website and we'll be taking pre-orders soon. So yeah, uh, come to our Facebook page, check out um, our preview teaser images. You know, there's some really, there's like Wonder Woman with a bald eagle <laughs> and Raven with a raven. And you have a squirrel? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Knew How it. could we not do that? I knew it. <laughs> so Squirrel Girl with squirrels. So. so you finally did Squirrel Girl. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm just trying to like finesse the tail because I, I don't want to do like a stuffed tail. I want to do like an actual style where it's like a, a thin, I don't know. Yeah. So, it's tough. So, All right. Yeah. Uh, thank well, you very much. Well, thanks. And thanks for doing the original oh version gosh. of our mascot here. I used to draw many, many ages ago. Yeah. We, we've had a uh, couple other iterations since then. Yeah, but, better ones. Uh, <laughs> that was when I was just learning Photoshop and, I don't know, drawing. Yeah. But she was so cute. I like her fish cake. I think I did one other one where I think she had like a slice. I think I only did two. She had like a slice. Oh, I only had the one. Really? Yeah. Oh, I should scan it. I have my art book still. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I have like my all my art stuff, like all the Divi stuff. Oh, yeah. Like all the t-shirts and all the... Yeah, the DVD mascot. Yeah, and, and then there was like another girl that I did. Uh, I was like looking through them recently and I was like, oh yeah, that was for a t-shirt. That was for like a banner or <laughs> something like that. So that was a fun time. You guys actually probably like, you were, you're anime on DVD and you guys were like the first anime friends I ever had. Oh. So you kind of like cultivated the like. <laughs> so it's all our fault. It's all you. <laughs> yeah. You made me. <sighs> so no, I'm like always grateful to you guys because you you know I remember like if I had like trouble, you guys would like talk to me and be like my support system or you know when we went to cons, you know I could always count to hang out with you guys. It was always like, remember we'd have the big dinners oh, yeah. and yep. you know even like Christmas time we'd have mm -hmm. like for a few years we had Christmas parties. So yeah, you know, it's really like. Good times. Yeah, it's 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 still the same, but it's that was the first. So I always remember that stuff. So because I, you know, I grew up in a town that like not that many pe people didn't really know what anime was. Mm. <laughs> um, All right, thank you very much. Thank you so much for anime. Sorry for rambling there. Oh, that's fine. <laughs>